All right, we started the morning. Welcome to our mobility session this morning. Yeah, we'll start the week off um, on the right foot. And so let's get that body moving and get you ready. Uh, we're gonna start in a seated position. Uh, we're starting with some neck stretches, uh, actually some trap stretches. Uh, just make sure we're nice and loose. You can do this during the day as well. If you start feeling like you're um, getting a little tight, a little scrunched up. So we'll take our right hand, we'll put that behind our back. All right. And all we're going to do is going to grab that forearm and we're going to tilt that head away. And you should feel that right through that nice strong trap right there. Okay. So we're just going to sit and hold that. I'm going to start off a little bit slower this morning. So we'll sit here for a bit. You can move that head around a little bit if you'd like to, just to kind of find if any um, tire spots or anything that's um, not as loose as you'd like it to be. So we're going to sit here almost a minute. So a good chance to kind of get your breathing under control, a little meditative state even. Just focus on your goals for the week, what you want to accomplish. Maybe think about a good strong breakfast you'll have if you haven't already. And all about setting yourself up for success first thing in the morning. We'll take another 10 seconds or so right here. Hopefully you feel that ear getting closer and closer to your shoulder as you hold the stretch. And we'll go ahead and ease yourself up out of that. Let the world align back to vertical. And we'll go to the other side. Like I said, hand behind that back. And grab somewhere on that forearm and tilt it over. So the reason that we have that other hand behind the back and kind of holding on to our arm is that you can actually pull that across your back. And that's just going to kind of deepen the stretch. So sometimes we've done this where you sit on that hand and you tilt away. It's just another variation. You get that behind the back. That's just to kind of help prompt that a little better posture as well. So the hand behind your back, your shoulders are kind of rolled backwards. And you may have to look a little bit down, look a little bit backwards, kind of get that stretch where you specifically need it. But our session this morning, we're going to take it again nice and easy. We're going to start in a seated position. I'm going to do a few on the ground here, and then we'll slowly make our way up to standing. Just kind of reflect how our our day is going to go right. We're going to slowly ramp up and you'll be rocking and ready at the end of this 20 minutes. We'll hold here again another 10 seconds. And we'll relax right there. All right, we're going to skip on down to our lower body. We're going to go our classic butterfly stretch. So we're going to put the soles of our feet together. All right. <clears throat> what we're going to do is try to get those feet as close to our sit bones as possible. Um, so try not to get your feet all the way out here. All right. Get them in as, as close as you're comfortable. And we can adjust as we go. Um, so don't focus too much on pulling your feet up. Um, rather, I want you to focus on sitting nice and tall. Uh, that's going to be a little counterintuitive to what we normally do. But sit up nice and tall, thinking about pushing that head to the ceiling. And at the same rate, slowly kind of push your knees into the ground. And again, we're doing a little bit of, of slow pressure here to start with. So we don't want to do anything aggressive, no aggressive pushing or pulling. But you slowly want to drive those knees down. And just feel those hips open up. And again, we'll sit here for a little bit of time. And 
I'm gonna make sure that we're breathing. We don't necessarily start specifically with breathing techniques, but focus on breathing through that belly. And I feel that when you breathe through your chest, your shoulders will come up. So I want you to focus on breathing through that belly. Relax those shoulders as we go here. Should feel those hips be quite a bit looser now. We're gonna kind of ease up out of that. We're gonna extend one leg forward, it can be either leg, and we're gonna manually push this knee down, and you can kind of pull that ankle up a little bit if you'd like to. And I want you to just kind of lean away from it. So we're kind of just focused on that single leg mobility of that inner hip. So again, nice and tall, good straight lines from those arms, from that thoracic spine. Nice and long. Now we're going to ease out of that, and then we're actually going to pull that knee in, trying to go across the body, so you're stretching a little bit of uh, the outside of that hip. So this is going to be a little bit of uh, hip mobility here, just manually manipulating that range. We're going to go one more time back through those two positions. Driving that knee down. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper this time. So active in that knee as well, kind of engaging that outer hip to pull that knee down. And then you're using that hand to supplement that drive. And then we'll switch on the other way. Pulling that knee across. And let's relax there. Right, let's go to the other side. And start driving that knee down. So you kind of a, a sneaky neck stretch here too, because you're still kind of pulling away. And then we'll pull that knee across. Still grabbing the ankle on the one side and the knee. Just switching which hand's doing which. Let's go to the other side, or switch again. And last time, pull it across the body. So we'll take that same leg, we'll bring that up and across, we'll get a nice little spinal twist. So we're reaching to the outside of that knee, back hand is going to come back, and that hand is going to pull while you push on that knee. Oof. Loosen up that low back. Again, think about that length, right from the hips to the top of the head as long as possible. Exhale and rotate. Just gonna hold that for a few seconds and then release. We're sit tall. We're gonna go one more time that same way. Elongate, exhale, and rotate. Try not to over reach this or over extend here. Just like everything else that we're doing, we're easing ourselves into it. And slowly release. Now let's switch to the other side. Try even that out. Hand goes back, cross that knee, pull and push, exhale. And bring that back to center for a second. And we'll go one more time. We're reaching, push, exhale, and rotate. Now let's bring that back to center. All right. 
<clears throat> so we're going to move into uh, some kind of needling stuff. So we're going to get into our nice little 90-90 stretch here. All right. So knees and ankles both at 90 degrees. Whatever knees out in front of my chest is squared up in front of that. So this one's going to, we're going to kind of hit each position here for just a minute. And then we'll kind of flow through a few of them. All right. So first, I want you to just kind of get situated with that 90-90. Again, nice and tall in that posture, head to ceiling. Feeling a little rotation through those hips. So we just kind of worked our rotation through that thoracic spine, kind of up towards the, the middle of the torso there. Now we're going to focus, focus that rotation a little bit lower. All right. So this back leg, this back knee, this back ankle, I want you pushing into the ground. And this uh, front knee, front ankle, I want you to focus on kind of pushing and pulling through the ground there. So we're promoting a little bit more rotation. All right. So that's in that back hip. And then from that rotation, we're going to go into a hip extension where you're just sitting up from that position. All right. So we're just kind of focused on driving those head forward, squeezing those glutes. And we'll lower that back down. We're going to prompt that rotation, drive those knees and ankles into the ground. And then we'll extend those hips. All right, again, squeezing those glutes. Think about that chest going forward, nice proud chest. You can squeeze that upper back together if you like as well. Promote some blood flow through there. And we'll go one more time, lowering yourself, get that rotation, drive those four points into the ground, and then work your way up. All right, so as we hold here, we're gonna add one more component to this is we're going to do a lateral hip extension. So this back foot, the one that's behind me, all right, I'm going to take that and I'm going to step through. So now I am, my right leg's going backwards, my left leg's going right to the side. I'll rotate so you can see. And I'm going to ease my way into this front hip. All right, so chest is still squared forward. I'm just going to open that hip a little bit different way. Little uh, ankle stretch here as well. Whole foot is flat on the ground, trying to press that knee out over those toes. And we'll ease out of that. Take a breath and we'll ease into it one more time. Again, nice and slowly. Trying to use that body weight as kind of the driving force to promote that stretch. And try not to rotate into that knee. Try to stay as square as possible, front and center. Drive that knee across, and then we'll ease out of it. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna kind of reverse that whole process. I'm gonna turn back. Um, so we're gonna drop that knee back. So we're in that extended, um, that hip extension. And then we're just gonna drop that down so we end up back in that 90-90. All right, so we're just gonna kind of flow through those positions real quick. So we're going to get that rotation, right? Drive those four points down, extend up, squeeze both of those glutes, open that hip, and lean into that one. Hold there for about five seconds. Come back through that extension, drop that knee back down, again, re squeeze those glutes, and drop it down. All right, one more time on this side. Rotate that upper body, drive those four points down, get those glutes and hips activated. Drive up and squeeze. Nice and tall. Stepping through. Ease in that hinge. All right. Let's bring it on back. Glute activation. Drop it down. All right, we're going to flip the whole thing over to the other side. So now you may feel very one-sided, lopsided, so we'll go ahead and try to even that out. So get those knees and ankles situated in the opposite direction. All right, you may feel like you're being pulled one way. Uh, so we'll make sure we get our body up and around. I usually like to start with that hand down, um, you know, while those hips are still getting into position. So we'll get it nice and tall here. 
All right, we'll think about that back knee, back ankle driving down. It's going to turn on that back glute. And then we're going to press that front side down, turn those glutes on as well. So we're going to press and hold just to get familiar with this position. And then we will ease our way up into that extension. All right, so those glutes are working a little bit more. And we'll lower ourselves back down. We'll add in that extra step through in just a second. So we'll open that up. All right, nice and tall. Press those four points down. And we'll drive those hips up. And tall, really get that glute squeeze. And if you want to pull those shoulder blades back, Make sure that chin is tucked in too. I don't want to see a lot of this going on. All right, make sure we're nice and tall, good posture through that spine, through that C-spine, slow it back down. All right, one more time, we'll add the, uh, we'll add the step through on this one. So make sure that we rotate it over, drive our four points down, right, get that glute activation, and bring those hips up, hold and squeeze, and then we'll step that foot through and ease into that lateral position. We're going to hold this first one for a little bit. And just looking to be perpendicular here. So back leg's going along with the mat. That front leg is going perpendicular from that leg. Ease yourself into it. Make sure we keep that, that glute tension as well, keeping those hips driving forward. Posture still nice and upright. All right, this doesn't do much if you're out here and leaning into it. So trying to get as upright as possible should certainly feel that hip a lot more in that position. We'll ease out of that. Let's bring it back around and get that extended hip. And we'll drop it back to the ground. We'll reset, we'll flow through here a couple times. So we're getting our good rotation. Driving those four points down, glute activation. We'll get ourselves up in that extension. You should feel that nice through that front hip of that back leg. And we'll step through and ease ourselves into that lateral extension. And we'll ease our way back down. We'll pause at each position. Getting that hip extension and drop it back down. One more time here. Four points go to the ground, nice and tall. Get those glutes activated. Extend it up. Nice and tall, eyes looking forward. Stepping through, open those hips. Ease yourself into it. Now let's bring it back down. Squeeze those glutes in an extended position. Drop it down and relax. All right. So we're gonna do one last one here. Um, we're gonna go up to uh, our hands and knees, okay? So what this one is going to look like, we're gonna go into that child's pose. We're going to reach those arms far forward. So from this position, we're going to tuck those back toes. We're going to reach those hips up. So we're in a down dog position. Now all we're going to do is a nice little spinal wave. I'm sure you've done this before in morning mobility. You're going to drive that tailbone up. Think about vertebra, vertebra all the way up. Nice little wave to get to the top of the head. Once you finish that wave, that head goes up, those hips are going to go down. You're going to mobilize that uh, kind of low back there. If you want to get a little rotation in here, you can. And then we're just going to sit that back. We're just going to kind of flow through those couple of positions. Reach those arms forward. Drive those hips up. In this down dog position, we want to focus on driving those heels down. So extend those hamstrings, those calves. Then we'll wave that going up into that kind of D 
dipped plank position, upward dog. A little rotation through that low back if you like. Do two more times here. Big reach going forward on that child's pose. Feel those lats extend. Drive those hips up. Really extend those legs. And get a nice little wave going forward. Exhale as you drop those hips down. We're going to go one more time here. Drive those hips back. They reach in those arms going forward. Drive those hips up. We're going to take them in here and walk those heels to the ground. A little extra work. And let's get a good, strong last wave all the way up. Exhale. And that's going to do it for our time this morning. Hope you feel more uh, more mobile. Are you ready to get your day started? Go on and take on the week um, and uh, make, it your, make, it your, make it a good one. Make it your best life. All right, see you next time.